Good morning, YouTube family. This is Satoshi Boomin here, coming at you with a quick video. Today we're going to be talking about another, some more, again, coming back at you with <clears throat> three altcoins that can 100x during the next Bitcoin bull run. Uh, but before we do that, guys, please, if you want to hear the three altcoins that are going to 100x during the next bull run, please go ahead and like this this video go ahead and leave a comment and if you could subscribe that would really help my channel out I'm working on getting a better uh, microphone because I know this microphone picks up literally everything and it cuts out sometimes so you know we're we're moving along we're getting better so yeah uh, let's take a look at our Twitter page here this is my Twitter page at boom and Satoshi um, so go ahead and uh, uh, you know follow me on Twitter because I post my new videos there as well just trying to spread the word of Bitcoin um, and and cryptocurrency so yeah this is my Twitter page please go ahead and follow me please like comment and subscribe and let's get on to it quick video today guys so the first altcoin we have here is Funfair Technologies this is a a uh, company that specializes in B2B business to business sales and what they sell is games that are used on the blockchain and these games these casino games are <clears throat> kinda different because these casino games are fair quote unquote uh, and you can see the statistics while you play them uh, that's why it's kinda cool um, so yeah, Funfair Technologies. Now, Funfair is the company that produces the games, and then you could go to their website, which is Casino Fair. Let's see if that shows up here. Powered by Funfair, and we'll show the stock price here in a minute. So here's the showcase. <coughs> you know they have all kinds of games on here, and they're adding more every week. So yeah, uh, the, the one thing that sucks, you can buy their coins, and all of these coins that I'm showcasing here today, guys, you can buy on Binance.com. I'll have a link in the description uh, so you can click on it. You can get 5% off of your, uh, of your trades. So yeah, 5% off, click the link, help me out. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> like they have slots. Uh, casino games, insta games, they have they have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and why I like them, uh, they're based out in Asia, and in the Asian gambling market, different than the American gambling market. Asians take gambling extremely seriously. Uh, if you watch any of the, if you follow any video games, uh, you should know about um, Konami and their destruction of Metal Gear Solid um, and <clears throat> the reason why I bring that up is because uh, a the Asian market loves gambling and they literally spend all day at these things called pachinko machines these gambling cafes and that's all they do all day is just gamble now <clears throat> um, so yeah I think that gambling is <laughs> not going away and this is a really really cool way to <clears throat> to do it um, off the blockchain you know that it's fair the house doesn't have an unfair advantage on you um, and it's a great way to earn fun tokens and you can buy those with ether let's take a look at their Twitter <clears throat> So I'm going to be honest guys, their Twitter <clears throat> doesn't really have too much engagement, but as you can see, they are uh, still updating, um, you know, as early as, as early as April 30th. So, you know, they're still active. The devs haven't quit. Um, this, this company has been around for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Funfair is definitely a... A coin that I'm looking after and remember guys these this is not financial advice don't go out and buy the coins just because I talk about them this this video in particular I'll do more in-depth videos later at a later date but these this particular video is for you to to see the coin and to do your own research before you go out and buy it but if you do know it and you do want to buy it link in the description it's gonna be a link to Binance 
you get 5% off, I get a little cut so that we can all help each other. <coughs> so they got merch. They released a new game. That game seems to be popular in the Asian community, Moon Racer 7. Again, you can't play these games in America just yet, but uh, in the Japanese market, in the Asian market, you could definitely go ahead and play these games. You could buy the tokens, though. So if we take a look at coin market cap here, uh, Funfair is trading uh, just under one cent, uh, about 0 0.002 cents here. Uh, <clears throat> if we look at the year-to-date charts, I mean, Funfair <laughs> reached an all-time high of you know about 1.5 cents. So uh, it's not, you know, it's not unreal. Uh, about 15 cents actually. So it's not unrealistic that we can go from you know. 0 0.002 cents to you know 15 30 cents maybe 40 cents during the next bull run that's not impossible so just keep an eye out on it I've been you know following their Twitter page I've been following their reddit page um, and just for transparency's sake I do own all these coins on this list so I'm not shilling them I don't have enough subscribers to shill anything yet but don't worry I will <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah funfair is a good thing is a is a decent pick now these altcoins are extremely high risk we're we're betting on it we're betting on it being still being around during the bull run FOMO being at an all-time high and people just pouring money in and I think that funfair can get to 30 cents 40 cents heck who knows, maybe even a dollar. I mean, I, there's so much more money into crypto now that it's crazy. So, yeah, that's the first pick here. And we're just going to read this little blurb. Funfair was built on the Ethereum network based in the London roots <clears throat> in computer gaming, envisioning the decentralization of the concept behind casinos. Funfair harnesses peer-to-peer -peer technology in combination with cryptography, having game creators, operators, and players each utilizing their fund tokens for fees and revenues. This technology is meant to enable lower costs with greater transparency and secure gaming experience that said that is said to be fun, fast, and fair. So yes, Funfair is um, definitely a coin that uh, I am looking at for a thousand X gains in the next bull run. So yeah, let's move on. Quick video guys, let's keep it going. The next coin we got here is Mithril. Okay, so Mithril <coughs> is a token and it aims to construct a comprehensive ecosystem that revolves around myth. Users will be able to acquire myth through myth staking. So this is a staking token. You hold it and you earn more by just holding it and further spin myth in various real life scenarios. So yes, you can stake this mithril token and not only that, it's sort of like a utility token. Let's take a look here. As a utility token, it is anticipated that myth holders will be able to spin into all walks of life, such as purchasing daily goods, audio video entertainment services, and it's actually actively seeking partnerships. So stay tuned. Hesitate, do not hesitate to call us if you're interested in joining the Myth ecosystem. So yeah, they have some partners here, not well-known partners, but the reason why I like Mithril, they're not really a high, they're a really low market cap coin that not many people know about. They're listed on a ton of exchanges guys like look at all these exchanges Binance, Binance Dex, OKX, OKCoin um, you know I don't I don't know some of these here but H hit B BTC coin exchange IO bit Forex so yeah they're listed on a lot of a lot of uh, a, a lot of exchanges and they have a lot of wallets as well the atomic wallet I've heard of that so yeah guys uh, Mithril is something definitely that you know you should take a look at and again let's take a look at this blurb it aims to construct a comprehensive ecosystem that revolves around myth users will be able to acquire myth through staking and further spin myth in real life scenarios so it's looking to be a decentralized cryptocurrency let's take a look at their Twitter here 
And again, you know, uh, not too much engagement, but they do have a quarter one recap. Um, they have an AMA coming up in Indonesia. So they're doing things, guys. The, the developers have not quit on this project. They've been around since 2017. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who have not given up on their projects. They're still going even through the bear market. And that's what it's looking like here. So these guys should be poised for a big run up. Um, if they continue to get listed on exchanges, continue to, you know, advertise themselves. So, yeah, <clears throat> a lot of exchanges here. Uh, that they are being listed on um, so yeah it's just basically a utility token uh, that you can buy things with and stake with so yeah mithril is definitely a coin that could 100x or 1000x sorry guys and let's take a look at coin market cap all right so yes mithril's coming in at 0 0.003 cents here guys so let's take a look at where they were when they first ico look at this guys they were al already at a dollar and 22 cents that is insane and if they even if they just get back to their all-time high that's a thousand X like you don't think they could get to their thou to uh, their all-time high with all the FOMO and all the hype after the having I mean you'd be crazy not to think so unless it's completely dead and it's a scam if any of these coins are completely dead or they've exit scam please let me know I mean I don't know everything I follow the news incessantly but even I miss things so please let me know guys <clears throat> let's take a look at this blurb here Mithril is a decentralized social media platform on the ethereum blockchain that rewards users for creating content the team plans to partner ex existing social media platforms uh, to drive adoption of its ERC-20 token, which can reportedly be integrated with any social media platform. In addition to storing the funds, the Mithril Vault wallet can be used for staking and swapping other currencies. So another uh, use case for this is that they are about decentralized social media platforms. Now, I haven't actually used their decentralized social media but um, if you have, please let me know how it is. I might go ahead and check that out soon. But I do like it for its staking and its uh, moon potential. So, all right, guys, we're moving on to the final coin here. We've got IOST. <clears throat> this is a quick video, so let's get into it. IOST is an ultra fast decentralized blockchain network based on the next generation consistent algorithm proof of believability so guys we've got proof of stake we've got proof of work proof of authority with v chain and now we've got proof of believability i will get i will uh expand on that in later videos Led by a team of proven founders and backed by world-class investors, our mission is to be the underlying architecture for online services that meets the security and scalability needs of a decentralized economy. <clears throat> so uh, they already have a main net out. Uh, a lot of main net accounts, they can do transactions, some nodes. They also do smart contracts. Here's a short video. Uh, I'm not gonna play this on this video, but I'm definitely gonna do another IOST showcase. Again, this is just a spotlight on these. These are we're not going in depth. So <clears throat> you don't need a barrier to run a node. That's awesome. Um, and we can take a look at their investors and partners here. Oops. Uh, Wobi, Sequoia, it's pretty good stuff, I haven't heard of some of these stuff, so, player, partner, heard of them, Limbada, oh yeah, Blockfolio, yes sir, it's some good partners here guys, um, investing.com, The Economist, Hacker Noon, Coindesk, Forbes, so yeah, these guys have been around, let's go ahead and take a look at their Twitter. So their Twitter is actually kind of decent. Um, 
they posted 21 hours ago so they're still pretty active um they had an AMA just recently yesterday actually I'll go ahead and check take a look at that I missed that AMA I was busy but I'm gonna definitely go back and watch it so there's uh, a little bit of engagement in it but I think once the altcoin FOMO kicks in again and these guys start um, really really getting back into marketing once they have a little bit more money in their coffers I think that you know these communities will rise back up again and lastly about iost guys they have a pretty decent following on uptrend if you don't know what uptrend is it's kind of like a decentralized uh, video network where you can earn tokens i think uptrend tokens um to uh for posting and if people engage you can earn tokens uh and i looked at their page and for a decentralized platform they have actually a lot of posts you know I mean uptrend is not that popular and they've got 10 posts on this one topic and it's only been open for two weeks so I would definitely go ahead and check this out if you're interested in this coin um, so let's just read this again IOST is an ultra fast decentralized blockchain network proof of believability led by you by a team of world-class investors yada yada we read that already so yeah guys this is the iost take a look at their uptrend take a look at their twitter and take a look at their website if you are interested remember do your own research before buying these coins <clears throat> and again we're uh, on coin market cap and this coin here is again 0 0.003 cents uh, if we look at the all-time highs here, guys, uh, you know, let's take a look at the all-time high, uh, 13 cents. So we're at <laughs> 0 0.003 cents, and the all-time high is 13 cents at the height of the bull run. So, I mean, you know, all we need is FOMO. All we need is people. All we need is visionaries, people that, you know, love technology to come into the space and pour their money in. And who knows? We can definitely get back up to a 13 cent maybe even a dollar I don't know I know I've been stuck on this dollar thing but um, I just think that uh, the FOMO has not even started yet this this big people don't understand what the Bitcoin having is and what and why it's important and but they will though they will uh, so yeah that's IOST guys this was a really short video did not go into depth with any of these coins today um, I'm kind of on a time crunch, so we got to get this wrapped up and moving on. And again, guys, let's go ahead and refresh this page here. We've got four days, 11 hours, 19 minutes before the Bitcoin halving. Um, not going to get into that today, but we all know what the Bitcoin halving is. We're super excited. We're super stoked. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the markets to finish things off, guys. Let's take a look at the markets. Uh, slightly down about two percent a little bit of red a little bit of green across the board here um, yeah Bitcoin is doing Bitcoin things we could probably see 10k by today or tomorrow and I expect more FOMO as the days tick on Tezos is doing pretty eh, it's down a little bit Cardano's down a little bit the market seems to be down a little bit which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the 24 hour here. Status, never heard of that coin, but it looks like it's pumping. OX coin pumped out of nowhere. I don't know what happened there. And Hyperion dipped a little bit, but it's still on the uptrend today. Same thing with Numerare. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> looks like today is going to be trending sideways for a little bit. So uh, I'm going to hop off now. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you like this video. And if you are going to comment, I want to know some of your altcoins that you're looking at. Um, what are some of your low, alt, low cap altcoins that you're looking at that you're looking into investing into so that I can research myself so that we can all make gains together that's what it's all about uh, without further ado guys this is Satoshi 
Spoolman. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, and thank you again. <laughs>